Welcome to another edition of Trail Talk here on LTTV. I'm Chris Ford, the Director of Marketing here at Illinois Eastern Community Colleges and Lincoln Trail College. And joining me is Dr. Zahi Atala, the good President morning. of Lincoln Trail College. How are you? I'm doing great. Yourself? I'm good, thank you. Well, Zahi, we're going to bring back a topic that we started to talk about uh, a little bit earlier uh, here in the semester, and that is creating a, a welcoming college. Yes, uh, the challenge that, that uh, we and every other uh, institution of higher learning uh, that we've had is how can we change from a model that's rooted in, in prior centuries uh, approach to learning, which is only a select few have access and, and the privilege, to a model where we're welcoming and we're meeting the learners uh, in their diversity of learning as well as their personal diversities. Right, you know, we, we talk about, you know, in the, the industry, in education, the, sta the sage on a stage model. And uh, that is, you know, the very traditional, your expert is going to lecture for the entire period, and the students are going to take notes the whole time, and that's what it's going to be. But that's not how everybody learns. That's very true. Um, whereas in, in prior centuries, that was the only model, and if you didn't fit it, you're out. Uh, nowadays, because of the need um, for workforce and economic uh, purposes of fire education across uh, all the swaths of our uh, economy, we need to meet each and every person as individuals in their learning styles and learning capabilities, which means that it doesn't mean that we have to tutor each individual. It means that we have to think and adapt our techniques and approaches. Rather than being the sage on a stage, why not take the approach of a guide on the side? Sounds pedantic, but the differences are drastic, especially when it comes to students and their success. Well, and one of the things I think about with community colleges like Lincoln Trail College and where we're able to really excel is in our career and technical programs and that is the idea of of learning hands-on uh, you go into those programs and it isn't all lecture based you're going to be doing the same kinds of things you'll do once you get out and begin your career that is absolutely critical kinesthetic learning learning is is um, something many if, uh, in our community are, are blessed with, whereas others are auditory and, and others are visual. But it's not monolithic in the sense that sometimes depending on the topic, you might learn better with your hands versus uh, listening and a different day it could be uh, the opposite. So we need, as, as educators, we need to consider, uh, kind of like you folks in the world of communication, how to get the message best uh, to our um, consumers, uh, whether it's the radio, the newspaper, or uh, audiovisual, we need to consider that, and for a long time, education hasn't done that. For instance, you know, having your ID badge available up front lets individuals walking down the uh, hallways, if they need help, realize that you're a member of the college in, in their service and they can address you, whereas you could be just anybody walking down the hallway. So it's not just what happens in the classroom, it's how we, we think about learning all over our institutions, in our communities, through our website, uh, not just a repository of information for, for people, but also a place of learning. Well, and you talk about technology, and we're starting to run out of time, but, you know, one of the other things that, that we talk about is using technology and helping students uh, that are very tech-savvy now. And there are some things that we're, we're doing, and one of the things that's going to be coming online soon is a new way that we can do anatomy and some other classes. You're, you're so right. Actually, you and I were yesterday talking to the hospital folks about simulators. Having those experiential opportunities available to all learners, whether they're in the K through 12 or they're, they're in the workplace as well as our students, uh, so they can, they can do and redo things as often as they need to. If we think about surgeries, 
you know, you can, you can perform them uh, on a uh, simulator hundreds of times until you perfect your skills, but you can't do it on human beings. Similarly, the anatomized table that you're referring to uh, allows us to, to study the anatomy of human beings without really having to deal with, uh, with human cadavers or, or animal cadavers for that matter. So it's tactile, it is repetitive, and it can happen anytime. It doesn't matter whether it's the weekend, the evening, or, or otherwise. Yeah, and it, it's great, you know, again, the whole concept, meeting people where they're at to help them with their education. Absolutely, absolutely. We, we need to take a page from the book of, uh, of uh, journalists and communicators, uh, even politicians. They, they don't say the same thing in every uh, locale we're talking to every audience. Uh, we need, and, and we need to shift from our mentality that people have to be at our standard and be prepared for us to how can we help people get to the learning that they need. All right. Well, we are out of time for Trail Talk this week. I uh, want to thank you for watching Trail Talk. If you enjoy this, uh, certainly would encourage you to like our video, share. You can subscribe, ring the bell. You'll get a notification whenever we post new videos here on LTTV. And, of course, we're also active on our other social media channels, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. would encourage you to follow us on all of those channels. So, uh, for Dr. Atala, I'm Chris Ford. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Trail Talk.